Hello everyone, Crydex here. Welcome back to our Dyson Sphere program playthrough. We've got some exciting stuff going today because we just unlocked Red Science. And we finished our first Red Tier Science, which was the X-Ray Cracking. The Cracking! The Cracking! And Cracking allows us to... I've got plastic set up here, but we will build some new chemical plants. I believe it's chemical plants. And that will... Nope, it is oil refineries. And that will allow us to essentially use up the refined oil that we make to make more hydrogen. And because the default recipe for oil is going to make two two refined oil and one hydrogen. And then we can use that two refined oil to turn into essentially two more hydrogen, because you can see that third recipe down to make hydrogen uses two, but makes three. So we'll have a loop with a splitter and everything. It's kind of like uh, the uranium thing in Factorio. And so essentially we'll end up with three hydrogen. Am I is that right? Yeah. We'll end up with three hydrogen and two energized graphite from each two oil, I believe. And that's not counting productivity, which I'm sure has a good effect on things as it loops around. Because instead of getting one extra with productivity, we'll probably get more than one extra. Um, the problem is going to be using all that graphite. I don't actually know... Um, we use it to make plastic and we use it to make energy matrices but we might end up having too much of it but we can always make a giant storage tower and just nuke it once in a while if that's what we need to do so what we want to set up is a, a loop here for the oil refinery I do need so I need to go grab some more foundations so we'll fly up here to the wonderful little foundation plant that's probably got a lot now. Yeah, look at that. Grab 2,000. And maybe grab some steel while we're here. And how about silicon? Keep 100 of that on hand. Um... I don't need any coal. I do need circuits. Take some more magnets. Oh, spraying doesn't work on cracking. Okay, so then the ratios will actually be maintained. I guess that's a good thing. Gears. Always need more belts. Do I have motors? I don't think so. Delete that. Okay. The exact ratio needed for science, but not the exact ratio needed for other things, is what I was going to say to that. So we are going to have a bit of an issue still with needing to void graphite, potentially, if I'm using that hydrogen for other stuff. For science, I won't. Um, I'll leave plastic there. And we'll just keep going over this direction. So Dave, what I'm saying is to Essentially, as we make hydrogen, we we also produce graphite. And if if there's a need for hydrogen, like in the tech tree, for example, hydrogen fuel rods, um, those only use hydrogen. And so to make a bunch of hydrogen for that, we're going to end up with excess graphite. And so eventually, depending on what we're using hydrogen for, or what if I wanted to use hydrogen for fuel, I guess I could just mix it with the extra graphite, but um, 
I don't know exactly what hydrogen's used for, so maybe it's not going to matter as much. But essentially, if we're using hydrogen but not graphite, then that can cause buildup, is all I'm saying. Okay, so we'll leave a couple of the distance here. You don't mix the hydrogen from oil refining with the hydrogen from cracking. Why not? It's the same hydrogen. I mean, the way I'm thinking about it is maybe too factorio-like, but I'm thinking I would essentially use this to supplement the main hydrogen supply. So anything that ever needs hydrogen like, it'll always use the hydrogen from this first, but then it will use the hydrogen from this, which costs refined oil, but then I get extra graphite out. So if, if I'm only using hydrogen, I'm going to end up with excess graphite. Not for red science, but for other things. Because um, essentially using hydrogen will create graphite in some, f some sort of ratio. Um, all that to say, let's get this set up. So we need an input of hydrogen and fuel. So we always want, might need some more space above this. I'm gonna leave some space here. Um, because if you need more hydrogen, you do more refining, not more cracking. Otherwise, yes, it gets messy real fast. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's kind of what I'm getting at is like, but then you're going to end up with extra fuel, refined oil. So you're going to have extra of something is, I guess, the, the reality no matter what, if you're using a lot of hydrogen. And maybe it's just easier to get to store oil in the storage tanks than to store graphite. But either way, we're going to have something. Um, okay, so then this... There's two inputs, two outputs, so let's get that going. And yeah, here kind of what you were saying, Dave, I can't switch this to, um, whatchamacallit, extra product because it's a cracking recipe. So we can never get extra productivity from that, which does make spraying it slightly less attractive, but the spraying it is not very expensive, so it could be worth it just for the extra speed anyway. Um... So yet again, I should set this up just for one of them first. And uh, let's check on the rate, the rate here. The rate is four seconds, so it's not gonna matter where I put which one. So two in, two out, like so. Copy that. Uh, power. Okay. So then what we need is some logic on on the hydrogen. Where are my splitters? I can never find anything in this game. So for hydrogen, we want
in. So the hydrogen is self-sustaining. I can just feed it with some hydrogen to start with. That'll be the, the priority. And then it will send its extra hydrogen out this way. So that's easy enough. Um, and I can just grab some manually. Yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying, Dave. I think my point is that even though this is self-sustaining with the, the hydrogen pieces, it's going to be sending out loads of graphite if I use up a lot of this hydrogen. And if that hydrogen is going to places other than science, then the graphite's not getting used up as much. So then what we want here is this one to be a splitter as well, which I don't have. Make me splitters. Okay, that should be enough. Um, and we always want to utilize the hydrogen from the regular oil refining first. At least this is how I'm going to do it. Maybe that's going to make bigger messes later, but... Yeah. A lot of work. And then that will be the hydrogen supply. And then the energetic graphite supply will come from here. And this will come over. And we actually want this to be a priority input on this graphite output here. So let's see if we can find a way to get this mess out. Um, yeah, that should work. Okay, and then this is going to prioritize this input. And then it can send graphite all over the world. And I am going to need a storage probably in the middle of this. Maybe we put it here in the corner. Okay. And I mean, I could always send the excess graphite to other things like my my fuel, my fuel daily or whatever. Um, okay, so then this guy needs to send his fuel out. I should move this. This should just go in. And then out. That's way smarter. Port occupied. Oh, there's one more belt. Okay. Ta da! Okay, so that'll work. And then we also need a splitter because we're also providing that fuel. Should I just do another output here? Oh, things are getting a little tight. Spaghetti has its limits, doesn't it? I can, I can make this. I can make some more room here. Um, splitter F7. I'm not in love with the hotkeys and stuff. I think I far prefer Factorio's. You kind of set your own hotbar. 
Like, F7 is not an easy key to get to. Really far away on the keyboard. All right, so then this goes over here to there. And then these two can go around. Alright, let's see if this uh, actually runs. Hey! Looks like it's working. How's power, by the way? We're still pretty good on power. Hmm. Alright, so... Yep, that puts out the hydrogen, the graphite. And then that all works. Um, that graphite stacked up waiting. This is, oh, I need red cube storage. I never set that up. Crap. Where to put that? Maybe here. So now that'll build up red cubes. Eh, we'll just let the thing fill up. Cool. Alright, what other researches do I need now? Now that that's all set up. Um just gotta start researching things. I know I'm gonna need that. Super motors, electromagnetic turbines. Power the logistics vessel. That's an exciting two words put together. Mini fusion power plant. Okay. Sounds good. Deuteron, or Deuteron. I don't know how you say that, but 600 megajoules. That seems pretty good. Uh, that's nice. And that provides 15 megawatts each. And I think that's the next power generation option, right? After thermal power. Yeah. Proliferation Mark II seems like a pretty big focus. The problem is it needs those little diamonds. And those are... Oh, that's not too bad. That's just energetic graphite. Well, that's where some of my energetic graphite's gonna go, <laughs> if I have extra because it's going to go to the diamonds, which is needed for tier 2 proliferation. Oh, here's the main quest line. Interesting. Solar sail. Use the EM rail ejector to latch, launch a large number of solar sails to form Dyson Swarm. Ray receiver. Interesting. So I can actually build those in red science. And that receives power, 6 megawatts. Aha, so that'll be important. That's two more colors over there, though. Dyson Sphere component and frame material. That's going to need titanium, all sorts of stuff. Oh, geothermal extraction. 2.4 megawatts of geothermal. Cool. Spraying hydrogen, yeah, definitely, definitely worth it. Oh wait, hold on, speaking of spraying hydrogen, I forgot to spray the outputs here. We need to do that.
Okay. I know these are only a production speed up, but that's fine. Because then it'll it'll just make sure these are sprayed for productivity that goes out. Same with the graphite. And then this still has those 29 items. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Graffiti artist spraying everything. Uh, okay, back to understanding the tech tree here. So we've got geothermal, energy storage. We should work towards that, I guess. So we'll do that. Um, there we go, logistics drones. Okay, they are available in red tech. Dynamically balance the supply and demand in the planetary logistics system. Sweet, okay. Definitely wanna work towards that. That requires thrusters though. So it is kind of expensive and it's gonna take me a minute. Oh, that's only steel and copper, that's not too bad. Okay. We'll get there. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to set up all sorts of new stuff. Ooh, I love that blue line just going across my base. Let me grab some more foundation. Because one of the things I'm going to have to do soon is get the new belts. So we should start prepping for that, because we're going to want 12 a second belts. Those do require the new engine things, and the new engine things are motors and magnet coils. So I can probably build that over here. Uh, we have magnet coil, oh, and tier two assemblers. Did I ever unlock those? No, not yet. We'll get there eventually. But uh, I'm not spraying motors yet, but I totally should. Let's go up a level and then down here. Um, yeah, this needs to be a splitter. Just all sorts of things. Where And where's my copper? It's all the way back here. I need to get that out. This is my spray goop, which we should probably have on level two, just kind of out here to the side. All right, and then why would it be unfeasible to spray everything? You're making me sad by saying words like that say things like that. We are going to spray everything. No, probably, I mean, or or feels like the least important thing to spray. Just like in Factorio, you know, you you uh, spray the latest, you know, the, the most final materials and that gives you the most effective help. Oh, we're going to need to automate these things too. I need to bring silicone down here. Bam, crystal smelting. Kimberlite ore, okay, which we don't have on this planet, I don't think. All right? Uh, yeah, it doesn't even show. As a type of ore, that's interesting. Hmm. Um. What is that? Also, I don't know what that green thing is down there, but that's not silicon ore, for sure. 
All right, so we'll make diamonds. Gosh, even diamonds are worth fuel value. It's so weird. You can burn everything in this game. Uh, do, do, do. What am I actually making, though? Oh, yeah, these things. Hmm. Original motor build might not be enough. I might just make a new... A new couple motors. And then this one will be the energetic motors. What are those called? Electromagnetic turbines. Cool. Alright, so we're gonna drop these. I'll just leave those to just make the tier two. Tier two thingies. Uh, looks like I need a splitter for the. Uh, no, maybe not. I can just keep the loop going. Oh, except I can't. Barf. Um. So annoying. So then, let's try this. There we go. Okay. So there's my coils. What else did I need? Coils, gears, and iron plates. Oh, also, I meant to look at upgrades. We should have some new upgrades available to us. Yeah. Mecha core, mecha move speed, inventory capacity, two more construction drones, all sorts of stuff. Vertical construction, get two more labs going. Vein utilization, oh yeah, that's awesome. Extra mining speed. Actually, well, we'll wait. We'll wait on that stuff. Don't need it quite yet. Okay, so we are building motors. So the gear are the gears? Not they're not sprayed. Why are they not being sprayed? Oh, they are. I just haven't used this final item yet. Okay, we'll go to here, up and over. Down. Iron plates here up. I don't want to connect, but I want to be. Blah, this is so annoying. Oh, okay, whatever. It's good enough. Wonky belts. For sure, for sure. Okay. So these are all sprayed. We have a annoying equator line thing here. We'll see what that does to my assemblers, but I think we'll be okay. That will be for motors. Carry that along. Output power. And how many was I building? Just two for now. Maybe leave space for a third later. So why not just build three now? Spray this. Maybe. Hmm. I don't know. I'm just thinking about different ways I could. It kind of like have it do a squiggle, so the sprayer is vertical and it wastes less horizontal space. But I think that's fine. Um. 
I don't know, we'll kind of have our bus go this way. That is north, right? Yeah. So just kind of around the equator. Just have a lot of items go that way. We'll have a whole ocean to fill in at some point. But then this can come down. Join those items. And now we want an assembling machine for turbines. Yay! Energy storage! Okay, we can do this. We have space for two. Tesla Tower, Proliferator, now we need orange goo coming over, so that's from here. I really wish, hold on, does it exist? No, I was hoping I could hit tab and it would switch between a proliferator where it connects sideways to one where it connects in line. I think that would be really cool if you could just have the, the orange goo right above the main line and come through. But that is not an option. So we will uh, over here go through, back over, go around the Tesla Tower, go through, back over. should work. Bam. Okay, so those are getting sprayed and then that'll be extra productive. And there we go. Turbines. Sneeze. <coughs> Sneeze. The, the not knowing if you're going to sneeze. That's the worst. Alright, and then I do want some storage for these, probably. Not a ton, but we'll store some up. I really need more inventory. That's actually probably the first thing I should do. Uh, inventory capacity... Also, I want to go check on my red science. It's been a while. Need more fuel. Um, let's just check on how everything's working here. So is six enough? Are we even using one a second? Oh, I see my production. Uh, do do do. Consumption red cubes. Okay. We are using 70 a minute, which 12.5%, which is 1 8 on top of 60 a minute. It's actually slightly less. All right, we got our faster conveyor belts. So I should be able to build those now that we have our turbines. And you only need one turbine per three, so that's not super expensive. It does mean we're gonna need to bring over the belts from here, which is kind of annoying. But maybe I can just go Three high for that. The verticality does help. Makes extreme spaghetti a bit more possible. Is 
Is there a way... Alt. Don't snap to building. Shift. There's the button I was looking for. Oh, wait, where... When did we come down to ground level? I didn't mean to come down to ground level. That's why I was getting confused. But also, the shift button is all I've been looking for. You imagine a turbine under every third conveyor. Exactly. Launch and launch. Okay, so we want this to... You know what I wish? Oh, the R button changes the path. That's handy to know about. Wait, you can go non-snap? What? Wow, I did not know that. I don't know when I'll use it, but I did not know that. That's handy. And then R for redraw. Oh, okay, right, that just unclicks. Okay, um, so anyway, what we want is like, if I'm building up on the third level, I hold shift and then it won't connect. Yeah, that was very much a mind blown. Surprised Pikachu face right there. Okay, so we'll build here and then we'll just come over all this junk until we get to maybe about here. And then we will descend. It's a little too far. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, my bots. Come back to me. Oh, and we need to proliferate these. Alright, we got fuel rods researched. The data shows this is a planet without natural titanium veins. Perhaps mm -hmm. you can get some by collecting gravel. If you need a massive titanium collection, you need to find a planet rich with titanium veins as soon as possible. Yes, I do. Uh, we'll just go with this. Slope too steep. No, I want to start on the second floor. Okay. But then I need another one. That <laughs> goes up to here. This is hilarious. Um... So we'll come out. To here. And go up two levels. Turn around, go up two more levels. Which I believe is the level we want to be on. Gosh, this, this is nasty spaghetti. It is really rough, but it works. Um, it works. So then these two together make the new belts. Bam. And then put those on a belt. Put some in storage. And then we'll proliferate, which I think I'm out of proliferators. Yeah. And then we'll proliferate right after. But yeah, there we go. So now we can get rid of all of our tier one belts over time. And just use tier twos. I mean, how expensive really is one of these? Are they that bad? They are two motors and two coils. That's not that bad for every three of these. Plus productivity starts to add up. 
And soon we'll have tier two productivity. Yeah, that's fine. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So that is tier two belts complete. What else do I even need to do? Definitely need more foundation. How's my power? Yeah, it's fine. Uh, inventory space is queued up. Now, how do I get to other planets? I guess that's... Can I just fly higher? Isn't that maybe one of the upgrades? Wait, we want to stop flying. Um, I feel like that I saw that somewhere in here. Hold arrow keys, which will activate sail mode. In sail mode, Mecha will orbit the planet at a higher speed. Okay, that's not quite how we get there. Solar sail life. Ray transmission efficiency. Uh, oh, it's this one. No. No, that's other planetary systems. So, when do we unlock? Hmm. Next sail speed it. It's not totally clear if that will let me go to other planets or not. The sails, yes. Oh, okay. Or is it one of these researches that also... Do I need that? Or are those unrelated? But we're also going to need logistics between planets anyway. Interstellar logistics system. That's what we're going to need. Oh, I'm going to love this. That's the kind of thing I'm excited for. But first we need a uh, vertical construction level one, which is actually an upgrade, isn't it? Yeah, I need to research that. The mecha sails. Okay. Yeah. So this right here, drive engine two. Cool. <laughs> you, you stopped when you tried to figure out. See, that feels like the fun part. I guess it could be the frustrating part, depending on how well designed it is or isn't. Um, for sure. You know what? I'm. These don't need to be in my inventory. And neither do these ever again. Hydrogen. You can just use as fuel. I don't want these. I also don't really care about traffic monitors. I can always make more if I want them. And those. Okay. That was a good cleanup. Nine more. Nine more spaces filled. Uh, I don't really know what to do right this second. What do I need to set up? Let's look at our unlocked stuff. Because there's a lot. We could start getting some diamonds. We could start upgrading. Yeah, so here's our energetic graphite belt. Yeah, and you can see the extra graphite coming off of this is being utilized. And the, But then we have supplemental graphite coming from the this setup, which is actually good, because then I can have so we always want to prioritize science so we'll keep that plastic I don't have a need for it yet but we're kind of ready for that but we should have another splitter actually um, another splitter here 
gosh. I really don't love that you can't build splitters up or down a level. I really just want to build a splitter that's up. And I don't even care if it's built on a foundation that just blocks out stuff underneath it, even. That'd be fine. It just needs to be taller. Oh. Um. Well. I rescind my complaint. I mean, it's not exactly what I want, but this is close enough. This is close enough. I didn't realize you could stack splitters. Also, can you stack them in such a way that then it comes out of here? Does that work? Or no, those are two separate splitters. Okay, those are two separate splitters. Had to try, had to try. Um... Okay, so there's that. And then we're gonna have graphite come out here. And just, well, one more over. Just have graphite over here. And then we can make some diamonds. How's power, by the way? Ooh. We are getting close to full utilization on power. Okay, so let's look at accumulators versus solar panels. They can accumulate 270 megajoules, which is close to a thousand seconds of a solar panel. It's like one fourth, let's see, 360 into 270. It's going to be three fourths, so 750 seconds. I don't know how long nighttime is, but I'm pretty sure it's shorter than that. Maybe about half that. <laughs> Dave, I love that. You've got your mind blown now. Okay, accumulators are pretty expensive, though. But having at least like 10 of them feels pretty good. Uh, what am I out of? Why can't I handcraft this? These need the motors. Maybe that's what it is. If I grab a stack of these, will I be able to make some of my own? No. Oh, I haven't researched that yet. That's the problem. Didn't I do the crystals, though? Maybe I did not. I swear I did. Yeah. Oh, but those can only be made in a smelting facility. Got it. Okay, so... Now, this is something... Do I have orange goop up here? I don't. I think we need to set up orange goop. I have plenty of orange goop here. I can just carry this over. Just use up my tier one belts. And carry the carry the goop. I am excited to have faster drones. Is our production still going on? Uh-oh. Nope. Wait, something's wrong with blue. Is this just a red research? Yeah, okay. <laughs> that scared me for a second. Okay, so what we want is actually... Let's fix this. So we want a couple things. First, we want like another two miners. To get a lot more stone. Okay. 
Okay. And Vane's utilization, once I research it, will give me 10% more even. Oh, I also need tier 2 assemblers. That's a big, big thing. Yay, Logistics Drone Engine. Very excited for that. Oh, I need to hit upgrade. Upgrade mode. Plus one. Facilities, belts, and sorters. Oh, chain upgrade. That's so cool. So it just upgrades the whole belt. Oh, I love it. Okay, honestly, this upgrade mode is better than Factorio's. I think it should have the same options. Like, both being able to select plus one, plus two, minus one, minus two. Selecting individual pieces, or selecting a chunk of pieces, or selecting a chain. That's actually all very nice. I'm a fan of that. Um, now, I don't care super much about proliferating the stone itself. Do I? Definitely proliferating the silicon, though. Because um, we only get 10. Or we get one per 10, I meant to say. Okay, so that goes in there. And then that's full, which means I can't really move it. But I'm going to want probably two smelters. Maybe expandable later. So that'll be silicon plates. And then we're going to need to proliferate those as well. That's not a proliferator. So it comes from over here. I also like that the little, it's like a green dot to show you it being constructed. So you can even tell that it's a tier two belt from that which is cool. All right, so those are proliferated. Out, out. Yay, inventory capacity improved. In, in. Silicon. Okay. So there we go, that should be a bit better. If anything, I could proliferate these for speed. Probably be helpful. Um, okay, so what even was I doing with the silicon? Was it diamonds? No, it was the these things, crystal silicon. We're gonna need diamonds as well. Um, What is that made in? Smelting facility as well. Okay. I'll just say three. I don't know how many I need. It takes two seconds for each, so not a super long time. As always, just getting it automated is a priority. Sorter. I'm gonna need some more belts here in a second. Proliferator. Now that's gonna be in the way. Go here, there, go over, and over. Okay. 
Okay. So we've got some crystals now, and our storage, which does not need to be quite as full as this one is. And take all that, put it away. Also should have a storage over here, same concept. Whoa, did not mean to build storage mark two. Whoopsies. Didn't even realize I had storage mark two. 60 slots, okay, cool. Don't really want those though. I don't need 60 slots of anything at the moment. Hey, crystal silicon. And what does that even go into? Like, I have no memory of why I even automated that. Uh, accumulators. Got it. That's what that was for. So now I can make some accumulators. Hopefully. I just don't have the tech for that. Okay, once I have the tech for that, then I can make some accumulators. And it probably wouldn't hurt to make some solar panels. It says I can make 10. Let's make 10. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. I actually don't want storage mark 2. As much as that's nice, it's a waste of an inventory slot. And I need to go grab some more graphite or hydrogen or something. I got graphite right here. There we go. 2.72 gigajoules in the fuel, fuel chamber. Should last me a while. Hey, extra storage and extra labs. So now I can stack up to five labs. You have unlocked the vertical construction technology. When building facilities such as Matrix Lab, Storage, and Storage Tank, you can try to build them vertically to make more efficiency use of space. Got it. Okay. Well, let's see. I'm probably going to be done with the YouTube video soon. I am going to need these. These are even more expensive. What goes into a thruster? Just steel and copper, okay. That's very strange. That does not feel like a thruster to me. Steel and copper? That's strange. Like, why would a thruster not use any motors? You know, you'd think it would have some of these in it or something. Um, okay, we're not going to see that till yellow science. So I think the only other power I can get... Oh, there's my assembler tier 2. Geothermal, I think, is the only other power. Or, I guess, later, the ray receiver things. But we're not going to do that yet. We are going to need titanium. Planetary legends. Okay, let's go to the upgrades for now. I think we've got the main things we need. That's only 100 of each. So that will give me a lot more max core energy. So I can fly farther. I would like more drones. Is that worth 200? Uh, or veins utilization first. We'll wait on veins utilization. It's not a massive difference. I actually go for walk speed, then that. in the drive engine. 
Okay. Geothermal's not on the planet. Oh, I guess I didn't even think to look at that. You right, you right. Um, I guess we'll just have to wait till we get to another planet. All right, for now that's fine. Um, so for more power, I am probably gonna use hydrogen power. That feels so good. I mean, oh, I need titanium for that. Never mind. I don't want to deal with titanium. But even regular hydrogen, which, again, I wish was here. Because you can't just click on it, which is really annoying. Because the only way I can see it is like that. But each hydrogen is 9 megajoules. And refined oil... 4.5 so we get 18 megajoules from two crude oil processed that's a lot more than my 6.75 megajoules from two coal so maybe I should just burn hydrogen and graphite mixed together it's always an option I don't know Oh, I need to research that still. Okay, well, I think I'm going to call it a YouTube video there because we're going a little long. But we are almost ready to build accumulators and I can start crafting my next chunk of... Where are they? Why can't I find them? Power. There it is. I'll do another 12. Okay, and we'll get that set up at the beginning of the next episode. But for those of you on YouTube, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you all next time.